Welcome to Cisco Modeling Labs. My name is Craig Brown, Technical Marketing Engineer at Cisco. The agenda for this presentation will be to configure an iOS Layer 2 switch. We'll set up the host name, the banners, the passwords, and then configure a Layer 3 connection. We'll test that connectivity, and then switch back and reconfigure to the Layer 2 switch port mode, and then again test connectivity for that as well. In this video, we're going to have a look at using the new Layer 2 switch within Cisco Modeling Labs. To start off with, we have our Layer 2 switch folder, which we're going to put our topology into. So we're just going to start with a new topology. And let's call this one uh, no config. So when we do this, we have a number of things. We have our iOS Layer 2 switch, we have our unmanaged switch, we have our router and a server. So we're going to start with the iOS switch and we're going to connect two routers. We'll connect them up and then what we're going to do is we're going to label these devices as we see them on the picture here. So typically what you do is you come in and you configure these routers for Auto NetKit and when you did that you would have a configuration here. We're not going to do that. So in this configuration, we're going to take a stock standard router, stock standard switch, and, and have the two of them connect. So we're going to do a couple of tests. We're going to configure the routers, we're going to configure the switch. I'm going to do a ping test from the router to the switch. And to do that, I'm going to configure the port as a layer three port. So I can configure the, so I can do a ping test on that. Then we're going to create a VLAN and I'm going to ping from the router through the VLAN to the other router as well, from router one to router three. But we're not going to use Auto NetKit, so we're just going to start the configuration. So let's start with having a look at the switch. We can right click on it, Telnet, and go to the console port. And here's our switch. Now, if we have a look at just the um, some basic settings, have a look at our VLAN, you'll see that everything goes to VLAN 1, which is the default, and all the ports. Now we have three ports here. These two, 0, 1, and 0, 2, are connected to our two routers and the 00 is connected to our management network. Let's have a look at the interfaces. Make them a bit bigger. And what you can see here is there they are again, that's 00 is our management and there's the other two. So there's no host name, so let's get started with that. We can also set the uh, time of the clock as well. We'll also set up the banners, the message of the day and those types of things as well. We can set up passwords. And so this gives us just some really basic configurations, things that you might do on a switch. So the next part is, is to start getting into uh, setting it up so that we can ping between the two devices and see if our switch is actually working as we expect it to. So we'll go back into the configuration. We'll look at our interface, the gigabit 0 slash 1. We'll give it a description, which is connected to router 1. Uh, we're going to change it so that we can put an IP address on it.
Let me just call that command up again so you can see what I typed in there. The uh, the message kind of blotted that out. So it was like just putting an IP address of 10.0.0.1 on there. Uh, and you can see that the uh, the interface has come up, so it changed the state up as well. So it's the same thing. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn on debug IP ICMP. And the reason why I'm doing this is I want to do a ping test. I just want to see the ping test come onto the switch. So we'll put this up here, and now what we'll do is we'll go to the router. So we want to go to router one. And you can see here it's a brand new router, has not been configured. I'm not going to go ahead and go through the configuration dialog because I just know the commands I want to put in. And so we'll go through this fairly quickly because we, uh, we're not too worried about configuring a uh, configuring the router. Uh, no enable password because it's a new router, which you can see by my forgetfulness there. Um, okay, so in the enable mode, we'll do conf t. We'll give it a host name of R1. Are these CPU hog messages? Um, they're just some debug messages that are going on. You can ignore those. So interface, interface gigabit zero slash one. We're going to give it an IP address of 10.0.0.2. So the first thing we can do is have a look at the interface now. We can see that it's configured. Look at our routes. You can see that our routes have been configured. We'll ping 10.0.0.1, which is the switch. We can see the switch has responded. And then over here is the, the echo response from that switch. We can have a look at the ARP table. We know that uh, here's the MAC address of 10.0.0.1. And if we have a, look at the, uh, have a look at the switch, we can compare that as well. So here's Gigabit Ethernet 01, which is what we were pinging. And here's the IP address, 2658, 2658. So we would be able to connect to between our router and a switch as a layer three. So let's convert that, that port back to a layer two port and then uh, put it on to create a VLAN and then connect up the other router and see if we can route across between the two routers using that as a VLAN. So back onto the switch again. Create a VLAN, we'll call it VLAN2. Then on the interface, we'll enable switch port again. Now we have a look at the VLANs. You can see that we have a VLAN 2 and Gigabit Ethernet 01 is on VLAN 2. Let's do the same thing for Gigabit Ethernet 02, which will be our connection to the other router as well. Oops, gotta go configuration mode. And now we can see we have 01 and 02 both on VLAN 2 as well. Now if I try to ping, um, it still has an ARP table there, but if I try to ping 10.0.0.1, it should fail now. We 
which is what we expect because it's not configured on the on the switch anymore. So let's go and have a start the next router up. Well, it's already started, but let's have a look at it. That's router two. Okay, so we'll just do a quick configuration of router two. So we can see that uh, this interface here is 10.0.0.2, this interface here is 10.0.0.1. We can see that they're both connected uh, 0.1 and 0.2, but the interfaces that these two are connected to on the switch, connected onto VLAN 2. So if everything works the way it should, if I ping from here 10.0.0.1, I'll just debug here as well. They're successful, and we can see here from the other end that we're able to ping it. So that's a very basic introduction to using the layer two switch, and also using the layer two switch without using the auto net kit function, so just configuring it yourself. So that concludes the presentation on configuring the layer two switch from a basic configuration perspective. My name is Craig Brown, and thank you for listening.